Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, I'm in a bit of a predicament. I went on live stream earlier today and I was talking all about this dinner called Brog. Um, we got into a big discussion about peasant food and Slumgullion and all the nicknames we give food that we throw together. And I call it Brog, some people call it peasant food, but I made some today. I wanted to test out my new camera, which I have to learn to put the lens cap back on. Wanted to test out my new camera with this fancy microphone, that boom thing that was on the top and all that. Well, unfortunately, what I didn't realize is that when I use this with the extension microphone on it and I plug it in, that microphone has to be turned on. So there's no sound. Absolutely no sound. But the problem is, is it was such a good video not good in the sense of I was making anything spectacular, but it was good in the sense that it was a meal that I haven't made in a very long time. And I substituted hamburger for stew beef. Now, this meal was kind of a thing his mother did. So what she would do, he, he described this meal to me when uh, that she would make sometimes when he was a kid. Leona was not known for her cooking skills in the early days. None of us were, right? But he said she would take a big package of uh, frozen hamburger and put it in the middle of a roasting pan and then put potatoes around it, I guess, some potatoes, and then she would pour a can of tomato soup and a can of ve alphabet vegetable soup over top and she would roast it. So I actually tried that later on. Um, when we were first together and we and I named it Brog because I changed it I didn't think turning the oven on was a good idea when I had a when I had a crock pot so it, it grew in evolution now what it normally would be what I had made it to be was you get a package of frozen hamburger and you would put it at the bottom of the crock pot then you would surround it with chunks of potatoes and carrots and an onion and then you would pour tomato soup and vegetable soup over top. So I, it evolved, right? And I named it Brock. So we were talking about this the other day when uh, I bought Briar a crock pot and I had, he had asked me to pick him up some groceries. So I picked him up stuff that he could, you know, experiment with his crock pot. And how he goes, ooh, Brock, we haven't had Brock in years, right? So I thought, oh, I'll make him Brock today and I'll do the video. So I, put it all together only instead of this time because brog is something you can do with any frozen meat any frozen meat if it's diced chicken cubed chicken a hunk of chicken breast frozen skinless chicken breast doesn't really matter but that's just how he remembers it and when we our kids were small i would get one of those big family packs of hamburger and i would break that up into five and i would make and it didn't you didn't get much for two adults and two kids well briar was a baby but i would make this in the crock pot so when i came home tonight when howie said "Ooh, brog i thought well i'll go when i went to giant tiger i'll make it right so i went to giant tiger and i cheated and i bought little baby potatoes because i didn't want to buy a 10 pound bag of potatoes just to cut up two or three right and we had carrots left over in the fridge some people might call this garbage pail stew right? There are different names, but it all comes down to it's peasant food. It's peasant food. It's whatever we make to see us through until payday or whatever, whatever's in the fridge. When you, you know, it's, it's a lean times thing. But instead of hamburger, I reached in and I grabbed a package of frozen stew beef and I thought, oh, that'll be so much tastier, right? So I, you know, I, you, you see me put it all in the crock pot and do the whole thing. And well, isn't Papa pissed off that it's not hamburger? I said, how can be any meat? I said, I've upgraded it to stew beef, but it's not hamburger. He said, so you miss the banter about him saying, this isn't, this isn't the brog. You know, this isn't the way you used to make it. And I said, no, I use stewing beef. I said, you can use anybody. It's just, he said, well, you're going to have, so basically I'm going to have to make it again next week 
with hamburger. So you are going to get the full story and the original Brog recipe the way I did it. But it's a good thing I decided to test out my camera um, and my new tripod, my new camera, because, and my new lights, because guess what? I need to learn how to use them. <laughs> then, after he bitched and complained about it not being hamburger but being stew beef, when I went to do my closing, he said, oh, you could do this with meatballs or a big mound of browned sausage. And I went, so you're going to bitch because I didn't use hamburger. I used stew beef instead. But now you're telling me to change the meat and you're still willing to call it brog? Pick a side, honey, and stick to it. So what I said is, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from Our Half Acre Homestead saying, potato, potato, slum gullion, spit and go on, you know, uh, brog. It's all peasant food. It's all the foods we love when we want to make things stretch just a little bit farther. Take care. God bless. No home economics lesson needed today.